You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Munchpack for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. I am going to check out the Munchpack. Not sure why I'm talking like that, but that's just the way it came out. This came the other day, about two days ago, so I thought this would be a good time to do it. So here we go. I'm going straight in. No hesitation, no waiting. Let's check it out. My Munch Pack sticker is there. And here is my Hola Adventurous Eater. This Munch Pack, well, hashtag Munch Pack, was made with lots of love by Nick. Enjoy. All right. And then let's see. Let's see. Let's just take a quick look. Now, usually it's just loaded with all kinds of tasty treats. And right off the bat, I could see some potato chips and some bagel chips, but I will be back. Let me take it all out. I'll set this over there and I will slowly go through each one and then we can learn about them and I'll tell you how they taste. All right, my mouth is watering as it usually does when I'm about to taste all kinds of snacks. Now, a few of these I have already had. I have had this one here, the Cosmos or Cosmos Creations Salted Caramel Premium Puff Corn. So that is on another video. I'll save that for a future snack. Now, I've had similar ones to these. I don't think I've had this particular brand. So I will start with this. It is a swaffle, traditional Dutch treat, caramel filled, gluten free. Let us take a look. We are a father daughter team with a passion for healthy and delicious food. Our swaffle waffle cookies are inspired by the traditional Dutch treat, the Stroop waffle. Not only do we love sharing these great products with you, but we also care about giving back. Through purchasing our swaffles, you're helping to provide free meals to those in need with love and gratitude, John and Julia. Peino. Thank you, John and Julia. Let me get a little ball out here. I didn't bring any kind of cutting board. You know, sometimes I'm totally prepared, and sometimes I'm not prepared. Even though I think I'm prepared, and I think, ooh, then I find something. Hey, I wasn't ready for that. So here, I'm going to open this with a scissors. It doesn't seem to open, and it also says to open here, but I refuse to use that all the time. Because I like to keep the package from the front as nice as possible so I could set it right there and here it is take a look at that this is what it looks like and we've had these before and they are super tasty so <laughs> it's very chewy I don't want to say the exterior is dry but it has that kind of mm, you got to get through it to the the inner there's a nice layer inside that's holding it all together The swaffle is sparific. That one is really good. All right. How about this one? Tortica Yadro. Yadro. Let's see where this is from. Where was that other one from? Did it have a country of origin? Made in Canada. Okay, this one is... Hmm, open here. You can read that, I'm sure. It's in there. You really gotta just pick it out. But either way, packaging looks nice. Matches my box really well. That's a Craig. Hmm. I feel like it's going to be a, based on the picture, like a wafer cookie. It seems to be wafers are really popular. Everywhere. More so than here in the USA. I've said that before. We have them, but it's not really in a lot of treats. Look at that. So it's a layer of the chocolate and then this cream filling with a crispy wafer. Here we go. The I was going to say the swaffle. I just like that word, swaffle. Mmm, that one's good. Now the chocolate is creamy. There's almost like a harder, crunchy material in there material food substance almost like little nuts very nice let's add that to our collection let's clean this up now see what I'm saying here's another one that's got a wafer seems to be really popular let's add a candy snack in here this one looks really cool looks like a lizard an e-fruity so oh it's a gecko a sour gecko now that is cool. 
And let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we are. Made in China. It's a sour gecko gummy candy. Now, I've tried a bunch of their stuff. I've never seen the sour gecko. Looks neat. It's got lots of colors. Let's just see if we pull him, what happens. Okay, so he'll stretch. Poor gecko. How far will he stretch? It's its tensile strength before I chew. Watch, I'm going to snap it, knock over my camera. He's still going. Oh, there we go. So let's eat his tail. The chewiness. Oh, I docked my camera down. That was weird. So it's got a medium to hard chew. It takes a little bit to get through. The sour is not as much sour to me. I like the sweet, the sugar on the outside. It's got a little crunch. Very tasty. Not overly sour, though. All right, let's do these. This is the seven, oh, enjoy seven days a week bagel chips cinnamon raisin. They also have two other flavors, roasted garlic and everything. I've been a big garlic bagel fan. Are you? I'm not. And there is some more information. And where does it say it's from? It is from Bulgaria. Mm. I used to have a Bulgarian grocery store nearby that I used to go to. Love Bulgarian sausages. They were always so tasty and unique. I can't remember having the snacks. Here, let's get this bowl. They look good. Hmm, this might be a good breakfast snack with a little cream cheese, bagel, cinnamon, and raisin. I wonder how they cut these so thin. There's got to be a special machine. Bagels are hard to cut in general, but... Mmm. It is really tasty and super crunchy, as you can tell. Okay. It's kind of like eating raisin toast. That's what I would compare it to, but not as cinnamony, cinnamony and not as raisiny. But you're getting a lot more crunch. There. Put that one in there. Well, let's do this one since I showed you already. Vienna. Manor Vienna. Or is that a W? Hmm. Chocolate cream filled wafers, all natural. The taste of Vienna, let's see what they say. Chocolate and wafers for everyone. This was Josef Manners, so it's an M. Sorry, Josef, big dream when he founded the pink confectionery dynasty in 19, 1890. Okay, so we've had some of their stuff before. It's from Vienna, Austria. Ever since, sweet delicacies are produced in the heart of Vienna according to the finest original recipes and started to conquer the world mm, with sweets. And look at that. It's got the little pull tab on it. Let's see what that pull tab is all about. There we go. And then this should open. Oh, wait. I did have these already. I think I've had these now that I see them. The packaging didn't remind me of that, but they were really good. Remember, they were super layered. And they were in these nice blocks that you could do one. It was almost like a block set, how nicely packaged they were. And I remember them being tasty. So we have another overlap. Crispy, chocolatey, good. Clean that up. All right. Not many more. Co Coco Bis. It looks like a cracker. Why do I feel like I've had this one too? This is a product of Japan. It's a wheat cracker. Looks like you could put something on it. I don't know, is that a little fruit of some sort? It looks like palm trees, so... What are they trying to say? Oh, look at that. I think I might have been a little too aggressive there. Now, when you first put it in your mouth, when I touch this side with my tongue, I got a little sweetness. It's a very light and airy, crispy cracker, as you can 
Tell me, tell me as you listen, it's crispy. It's good, and it's got a little sweetness to it. I don't pick out any other flavor, but it might be there. When you taste so many different things, your taste buds tend to go wild. All right. Kit Kat Chunky. Now, I know this one, but I don't think I've ever shown a Kit Kat Chunky peanut butter on video before. And this is just a Kit Kat bar. Nestle, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Here we go. I'm excited about this one. I love peanuts and peanut butter in a bar. Oh, look at that. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to bite. Mmm. Look at the inside. There's very little resistance when you bite that. You get a really nice, like you're biting into a peanut butter sandwich kind of bite, which I like. And it's very peanut buttery. Here's the uh, pizza flavored pretz. Baked snack sticks. And there's the ingredients. It contains wheat, milk, soybeans, and coconut. Product of Thailand. Visit us at pretznacks.com. I'm guessing now there's a perp somewhere. Open. Pretzel snack. Did you see the pretzel? I mean the pizza on the front. Look at that. It's got some tomato cheese. Some looks it could be oregano on there. Mm, maybe basil. Probably both. That's what I would put both anyway. And here they are. They're crispy. So this would be good. Maybe in a little olive oil with cheese. Grated Parmesan. It's a very, very strong pizza flavor. They are not hiding on the flavor on that one. Yes, this would be good. Dipped in a little oil with, and then sprinkled some Parmesan Reggiano, Reggiano on there. Very good. All right, we're getting there. Look at this one. These Zaps potato chips. New Orleans kettle style voodoo. Now I've seen these, I'm pretty sure, at World Market. Our New Orleans kettle style potato chips are kettle cooked, one batch at a time. This process combined with premium ingredients results in a crunchier, tastier potato chips. We hope you'll refer. We thank you for buying our product and enjoying buying them. Hmm, pretty good. Zaps.com. It is a product of Hanover, Pennsylvania. Anybody from Hanover, Pennsylvania who lives near this factory and has to smell the potato chips cooking all the time, let me know. Now, is this going to be hot being voodoo? What does voodoo mean? In regards to flavor. They show voodoo dolls on there. It is really tasty. It is a little spicy. Super duper crunch. Look at this puffed one. Mmm. Zaps makes a good potato chip. Now, I saved this one last because it looked to be the most interesting. Because I thought it was something else when I looked at the packaging. I'm like, oh, that's very strange. It looks like a watch, doesn't it? And I think it is. And I think it's a gummy. But it looks interesting. Corn syrup, sugar. Let's see. I don't see. Ch there's a choking hazard. Looks like made in Mexico. All right. Doesn't say exactly what it is. But squishing it, it's like definitely some kind of gummy product. Look at that. That's pretty interesting. Now, I was hoping. It was colored a little bit differently. Not that I was going to get smartwatch written on it, but possibly some other colors blended in. It's kind of what I felt. Here we go. Let's just do the stretch test. Oh, it stretches pretty good. Let's do the bite test. That's my assortment this time. 
from Munch Pack. It's lemon. Or lemony or citrusy. That's what I get when I eat it. And it's a medium to medium soft chew. So it's not that hard to chew. And for that, I'll probably finish that one. And there you go. That is the next Munch Pack. Are you a fan of Munch Pack? Are you a fan of these videos? Let us know. Hashtag it out there. Share the video. Tweet it on social media. And I'll make sure I heart that post. And thanks for watching and enjoying the videos and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.